I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. I gotta do my research. I'm a scientist. By nature, I'm curious. Science is serious. I wanna learn and study. Cause life is too mysterious. First step, state of the art. Reading, searching, summarizing strictness. Rigor and precision. I can afford to make a mistake. I develop a strong methodology. To start the week, we took a trip to visit the tiger's nest. After a two-hour ascent, we reached the temple complex, which clings to the top of a cliff on the outskirts of Paro. Well, my name is Rukesh. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. I work for a company called The Green Road that uses waste plastic in road construction and currently I'm working uh, in uh, recycling machines. Uh, the one you see here is an extrusion machine that can uh, uh, make or produce uh, filaments, thread for weaving baskets out of uh, any kinds of plastics. Uh, the whole idea is to take the recycling uh, business forward in uh, Bhutan. I believe this is the first of its kind in the country. So I'm very excited. And then I have other machines that can make uh, flower pots as well. And maybe after two months, I'll be setting up a shop uh, in Kimpu. And then we're also going down to Funsling as well. And after that, we, we have plans to go in all the 20 districts in Bhutan. Before me and Rakesh can begin work on the shoe press, we had a few smaller tasks to complete. One of which was to cut some demo molds from sheet steel. To speed up the process and push things forward, we had an idea to cut the steel using the CNC machine. The machine, known as Shotbot, has been designed for cutting softer materials such as wood and plastic. By dramatically lowering the speed, reducing the cup depth and applying a liberal amount of cutting fluid, we were able to successfully cut the sheet steel. For the next 40 days we have 7 work experience students with us from East Bhutan. Shortly after their arrival we received a shipment of Wemos boards. Wemos boards are a compact, powerful, Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller which is compatible with the Arduino IDE. So that the students could learn about the Wemos boards I taught a workshop developed by Fab Lab Rook called IO Glow. The boards are connected to a string of neopixels which can then be programmed from any web enabled device.
We're also planning on using the WeMOS boards for Kazang's pedestrian crossing project so that the different modules can communicate wirelessly. I made a simple template by modifying the Arduino Blink example. One WeMOS acts as a server and two act as clients. When one of the pins on the client boards reads high, the LED on the server illuminates. This week, Nanda showed me some of his paintings. The level of detail and expression is impressive. I've asked him to produce one for me at some point during my stay. Whilst in Bongo I had an idea for a side project. Several of the houses we visited had an open fire inside with no form of ventilation or extraction. I thought it would be a good idea to build a retrofittable extractor to improve the air quality of people's homes. Before building the extractor we had to build a wood burner so that it could be efficiently tested. I found some local scrap metal and with the help of Amit and Kazang we began construction. <laughs> 